Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to get into a cybersecurity video. And in this one, I'm going to show you what it looks like from a hacker's end and also the system administrator's end when a rootkit goes in and basically what a hacker would do. Very simple. And then I'm going to get into the system administrator side, how they would check and stuff like that. The tool that I'm going to be using for the system administrator side is the following. And I'll leave a link down below to this so you can check it out. But basically, this will be put onto a system. And all it really does is check to see if there's any differences before and after. And uh, that way, a system administrator can actually look in and, and fix things if need be. But it's also important to note that this is not a 100%. Uh, there is some ways to cause it where this won't be able to tell so it's important to note that but with that one in mind um it is important to note that there is tools out there like this and this is how it's going to work so real quick sorry about the ratio and whatnot you know it is what it is but as far as things goes basically you're looking at a distribution of linux it's sunflower don't worry about that but think of this as we're going to get to see both sides in the terminal and um i got aid on here i already put it on here and whatever and this is part of one of my classes by the way that's the reason why you, you might see stuff like labs and whatever but um basically what happens is at this point this command specifically the rootkit was installed or what was put in place not installed and basically my job would be to actually get it to trigger and install and, and do its job from there to rootkit however it's programmed I, I i wasn't part of that part but however it was programmed it would actually start moving things removing files and whatever it may be so think of it as say for example if you have a plant at a company or a government agency or something like that and they had a rootkit on the system and they thought they're being found out they'll trigger it and um, files about them and all that stuff will be moved or erased or whatever it may be so it'll hide them a little bit easier and, and make them a bit more of a ghost so with that one in mind that's a big thing to, to note is we triggered the rootkit here it's literally that simple and what it looks like on on the person's end and then from here, uh, basically, uh, th this command, we're moving something, I forgot. But it's, uh, basically right here, we are doing a check. And this is part of the aid. And basically what we're doing is we're doing a check to see what has changed. So this is what the system administrator will do. And they'll take a look at it and, and see what's up. So on the system measure side, basically what they'll see is, oh, the system found some differences and whatever, and it gives a good summary of whatever, but what's changed, what's removed and, and added and all the other stuff. So it is pretty important in that aspect. Then we can even get into a little bit more detail. So looking at this, basically, we can get a little bit more detail on the items so we can actually see the um, uh, details about the changes so the permission levels um, read rights and whatever uh, we can actually see the differences in that and quite a few other things and um, as far as that goes as a system manager basically you'll be able to quickly see what files has been messed around with when it was messed around with and so on because the thing is is just because a file has been messed around with it doesn't mean that it was a hacker it could have been a legitimate change and that way you can take a look at the uh, timestamps and whatever and see if it was legitimate or not but as far as certain things that shouldn't change at all it should tell you that hey something's up and um and whatever it's important to note that when you see a uh change like this then it might be worthwhile to take a little bit deeper dive and and to see what's up because obviously something is off and um it probably isn't legit but anyways just want to do a quick video out there to see if the channel is still dead or not but uh if you want to see cybersecurity videos and coding videos and stuff like that then let me know and 
I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.